crab and botarga pasta. Botarga is salted and cured fish roe. Every cuisine has a version of dried fish to give your dish a rich umami flavor. Botarga is one that's used extensively in Italy, and oh my god, it's absolutely delicious. I'm obsessed with it. Starting with fresh pasta. I'm no expert, but I do love making my own fresh pasta. I constantly tinker with my dough recipe. Feel free to try my current favorite recipe or any of your own. Of course, you can also buy pasta to save time. I'll only judge you a little. I use egg yolks and a mix of semolina and double zero flour, a pinch of salt and some oil. Check out my blog post for the exact measurements. Knead into a homogeneous dough for about five minutes and set aside to rest for about twenty. Cut your cherry tomatoes in halves. Marinate in olive oil, garlic granules, and salt. Place it face down on a baking tray and set it aside for now. Finally, mince your shallots. You want it to really melt in your sauce. Mince garlic. Slice them chilies. Add more if you like it hot. Tomatoes into the oven to blister. Butter in. Shallots and garlic in. Chilies in. Sweat them slowly. Start boiling water with salt for the pasta. Add some salt in your shallots. Cherry tomatoes out. Now we pour in a wee bit of vinegar to brighten up the dish. Let it reduce by half. Now's a great time to roll out your pasta and dust it with flour so it doesn't stick to each other. Let's get another lump of butter in the pan, shall we? It's go time. Tomatoes in. Botarga in. Add in a solid amount for a rich, creamy, umami flavor and texture. Stir it in well. Now the beautiful white crab meat. Drop your pasta in the water now. Fresh pasta should only take a minute. Dried will of course take longer. Lower the heat on your pan if you're gonna do dried pasta. <sighs> Add in the cooked fettuccine, parsley, and some pasta water. Fresh, springy, beautifully rich and light all at the same time. It's a breeze to make and a delight to eat. You guys have to try this one at home. You can check out my blog post for the full recipe. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week on Barnless Food.